In this episode, we will be looking at the CSV module, which is a part of Python's standard library. The CSV module can be used to read and write CSV files. Let's take a look. First, we'll take a look at a CSV file, which is really, really simple. This one just has a first name, a last name, an email, and an age, and a couple of rows of data. Let's see if we can actually read it with Python. First of all, we'll need to import the CSV module. We just do CSV, and then we'll create a little function to make this a little bit easier to do. And we'll just pass it a file object. And then inside of it, we will open the CSV create, uh, tool, which is csv.reader file object. And we should probably save this. Test CSV. All right. So now we have a reader object. We want to go over each row of the file. Or row and reader, of course. And we'll just print out what those rows are. So let's do that. All right. Maybe I should need to pass it the file object. So that's what we'll do down here. So if name equals main. RCSV uh, path will equal something simple. In this case, we had that called test CSV. And since it's saved in the same folder as this file, that's our script is, we can just open it like that. Otherwise, you'd have to specify the full path. Then we can just do with open CSV path. And we'll specify we want it in read-only mode. And we'll just call our CSV reader. Our autocomplete isn't working very well for some reason. All right. <clears throat> so this should call, it should open the file and then call our little script up above, our little function, and see. we'll see what happens. Let's actually try running this. Okay, so it went through, read each line in that CSV file, and printed them out without the, the commas. The reason that happened is that we used the join method up here with a, just a space. So basically it went through and read each of the, the lines in the file and then spit them back, back out to standard out. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? Now the CSV module includes another way to read the CSV file. It is known as the dict reader or dictionary reader. Let's take a look at how to use it by creating a new function. We'll name it fairly similarly, and we'll still accept a file object. But this time, instead of calling csv.reader, we'll call csv.dictreader. And we'll pass it the file object. And we'll also tell it what kind of delimiter the file has in it. Now you may not know this, but CSV files don't necessarily have to be comma separated. They can also be space delimited or uh, semicolon delimited or pretty much any kind of delimiter can be in there. So you can tell it what delimiter it's going to use. And we just need to iterate over our reader, the four line in reader, and we'll print out the lines here we get. We also need to go down here at the bottom and change it to call the dict reader function instead. And now we can run it and see what happens. All right, well, it looks like I printed out a dictionary for each line. This makes things really handy because now we can just access the line. So I should have like a line here. Oh, it's out of scope. Let's go back in there and change the code just a little bit. So instead of print line, it'll print, you know, like line first name or whatever. And 
Let's run that and see what happens. So in that case, it goes through and it prints just the the first name out of the dictionary that, of the line that it read, which of course is Mike and Jing. You notice it was also intelligent enough to skip the first line, which just told it what the different fields were. So when it built the dictionary, it took the the, the, the first line and created those, used those as the keys for the values in the next two rows. Pretty cool, huh? Now we're ready to move on to learn how to write a CSV file. So let's get on that. Let's create ourselves a little writer function. We're going to call it, follow our same naming convention, call it knit CSV writer. This time we'll pass it a data and the path to write the file to. And we'll continue using with open the path. And of course we want to make it a writable file, so we use W to indicate writing. And we tell it that we want a new line. And we just create the file handle as CSV file. Now we need to create our writer object, which we get from the CSV module. In this case, our delimiter, delimiter, well, of course, equal our comma, because that's the most common format. Then for line and data, the data that we pass in, we will write it out. So writer.write row and the line that we want to write. <coughs> so to do this properly, we need to delete all of this and create some data to write to it. So let's follow the naming conventions that we did the last time. So we had a first name and a last name an email and we also had an age so let's like do 24 for this or I mean the name age duh all right this actually needs to be probably a list of lists because we want each row to be its own list so let's do that so this will be our first row of data So let's just come up with some goofy names. All right, there's one row. And we'll create another row for the heck of it. This one will just come up with some other goofy names. And it's gotta be thirty one as all right, so that gives us some data to play with. Our path would just be an output file. And we'll use our CSV writer to write it out. Data and path. All right, let's see what happens if we run this code. If we did it correctly, it should just work. Okay, well, it looks like something happened, but it didn't print out anything, so we're not entirely sure if we got what we wanted. So, let's use our CSV reader that we created and see if it'll read the file we just created. So, we'll just open that file up. And let's see what happens. So if we actually run this code, just so everyone's following, it'll actually recreate this file, overwrite the original one because of the W, and then it'll read that file that we just created a second time. So let's try it. 
As you can see, it wrote the file and it read it right back out and spit it back out to send it out. We've just created a little script that can read and write files. That's pretty cool. Now we're ready to move on to the other way to write a CSV file with the CSV module. As you might have guessed, it's the dict writer method that we can use. Let's create a new function that uses it so you can see how it works. We'll just call this dict writer. And it's going to accept slightly different parameters. As you can see, let's open up the file. Make it writable. And we'll set the new line the same way we did the last time. And we'll create our writer instance. But in this case, we'll make sure to call it the dict writer instead of just the writer instance. And it will get the file object that we just created along with the delimiter. And we also need to pass in the field names. Now, the next little piece is it's a little bit different, is to write the header out. Now the header is that first line in your CSV file that tells you what the next lines will be. So the header will be the first name, last name, email, and age. Okay. And for a row in the data that we pass in, we want to write that out. Write the row out. And then down here, we need to change just a few little things here and there. Create a little list object. And then we need to create our field names. And the field names will just be the first row in our little data set. So row zero. Then for values in our data, starting with the first value to the end, we will create a little dictionary to pass in. And we use Python special methods, dict and zip, to zip stuff together. So here we have field names and values. And what this will do is it'll take the field names, which are those first four items in that first list, and it'll zip them together with each, uh, each row. So the first dictionary will be field name, Nedry, last name Bell, etc. And then the next one will be Tyrese and Jules. You get the idea. And we just add that to our list. Because basically we're creating a, a list of dictionaries. And we don't want to call you know, the CSV writer function anymore. We want to call our new function. Oops, make sure your case is correct or you'll end up with a funny issue. I'm going to pass it our path, our field names, and our data set, which happens to be called values in this case. I mean, not values, I'm sorry, my list. And we're going to leave this reader part here just so we can see if we can still open it after we're done. Now, if I've typed this up correctly, this should just work. Let's check it out. Oops. Looks like I spelled something wrong. Yep, CST instead of CSV. So let's fix that. And try one more time. All right, so this time we created the data just as we wanted it to, and then it printed them out. Now the cool thing about this is I think we'll still have our little dictionary handy. So let's just see what we've got here. Actually, let's see if we can access my list. See what this thing's doing. All right, so the first item in the list has all the dictionary, first name, Nedry, age, etc. And then the second item in our list <coughs> will also be first name, but this time it's gonna be Tyrese. So you can see how that little dict zip 
code created two little dictionaries to stick into our into our list. All right, at this point, you should be able to use the CSV module quite well on your own and create your own CSV files and read files that are already created. In fact, you could go on, go online and download a CSV file and use this code to read it, with just a little bit of tweaking. Have fun, and thanks for watching.